Everyone, Carrie Mileto, come on out here. I mean, so we Can love you get serious about the pie. Exactly. Like, Let's get going. We're gonna do some pie baking. <laughs> See, normally, now I love pies, but normally yeah. when I think about pies, I think, you know, the rolling and the prep and how long it takes and yeah. the mess and then the cleanup. Love pies. Yeah. But then living alone, what am I gonna do with all the leftovers? Exactly. So you know, it's, this is everybody's perfect solution. Let me show you okay. the new solution for you. If you have experienced what she was just talking about, yeah. and I have. Here you go. Nice, perfectly individual oh, pies. Look at how that cute are ready. Those are. This is the best part. They're ready in seven minutes or less. Are they really? Yes. <gasps> okay. Oh, for cool. That's what's pretty crazy. So when you plug this in, it takes two minutes to warm up. Gotcha. Oh, Only two minutes. Okay, you know it takes 21 minutes for my oven to preheat. I know. Right? That's what's so crazy. I've timed it. So in less time <laughs> really than it would take have. for your oven to even warm yeah. up. You are already serving a delicious pie, and let's cut into this one. I believe is our cherry. Oh, so there's, look, look at that. this cherry pie. It's absolutely perfect. Yummy, Perfectly yummy, browned yummy. all the way. This is my apple pie right here. Okay. And okay, I left my ice cream. I'll come get it. <laughs> okay, that's all right. That's all right. Well, I, she has I, I, I will be your helpful you assistant. You got to finish with it. Thank you so much. Okay, Jen. you we are have welcome. To finish with the ice cream. I know. And so you can have pies just like this in a matter of minutes. I want you to be thinking about this time of year. We're gonna have people coming over to visit a lot more sure. frequently now. We are also, you know, it, there's times when you're busy, you're doing holiday stuff, you want to serve something delicious. You do. But you don't have all that time to spend. Think about plugging this in for just a few moments. Taking your pie crust. Now, you can buy already made pie crust. Sure, right to make in your, your life easy. Section. Yeah. Exactly. But we also include with the maker, there's going to be pie crust uh, recipe. So oh, if you nice. want to make it from scratch, we're going okay. to tell you how. Gotcha. So now you can go and get the filling right in the grocery store aisle. So they have the pie filling already in the can. So maybe just keep some yeah, of these in the not? cabinet. Or maybe you already have harvested some of your fresh you know fruits and maybe sure. you can fruits you know during the summertime the springtime so you can have these ready do you want apple or do you want blueberry oh do you know what i do like apple okay I let's have do to apple. Say. you gotta do that you, okay by the way this is another one where it is the grand finale for our columbus day uh, finale mm -hmm. remember we've got lg we've got the television we've got the phone coming up but regardless this flex pay does go away at midnight so you can only get it basically now or for this show for less than ten dollars on your credit card you know and the thing for me too carrie is you know for a lot of us out there, we all love pie, but most households, you buy a pie and then you're sitting on leftovers for a week, even if there Absolutely. is more than one person in the family. Absolutely. And let's be honest, somebody's not happy. You know, you buy the apple, the somebody flavor. else wanted the pecan. <laughs> you know, you buy the pecan, somebody else wanted sweet potato. You know, and, and you know, so yeah. now, pies for everybody. You can customize not only the flavor profile, but you can do sweet and savory at once, you can do a pot pie on one side, you can do an apple pie on the other, and yeah. still know that in minutes, you're going to have perfect results. And that's where I'm going right now. So what I was just showing you is it actually comes with a cutter. So you see here, this yeah. actually is coming with. So the larger side is for your your bottom piece and then the other side which is a little bit smaller is for your top piece so you right. saw me put the top piece on it's that easy everyone I'm going to take these out these are my pot pies I am gonna blow your mind right now okay if you buy a pot pie in the store you know that you have preservatives of artificial course. things sure well, you know what, sure. Kind of, what kind of meat are they using it yeah. you know probably not the best right. you know so and if you do want oh, to get kind and say hey we use all white meat you pay so much more this is a chicken pot pie Nothing will go to waste in your home yeah. because you can get as creative with this pie maker as you want. Take your leftover green beans, your corn, right. your chicken, put in a little cream of mushroom sure. or cream of chicken you can customize or whatever it. you like. And this one I believe is, is a chicken. Okay, we got two chickens. Okay, so chick chick. Okay, so we got two chickens, but I'm going to do a beef one now. Okay. So like to your point, maybe... Some people in your house like chicken, some people in your house like right. beef. You've got both left over in the refrigerator. Great, no problem. Dinner is ready in minutes. You got home, you worked hard all day, you're exhausted. This is the easiest way to pop something out so fast. Sure. However, yeah. you can also prep in advance. So oh. if you want to go ahead and make a whole bunch of these and yeah. freeze them in your freezer and then literally oh, take them not? out and put them in the microwave. Good idea. They work just as well like that as, as well. They do, I mean, whether, you know, it's somebody, this fits in the, the fall, smallest of space. Too. So, I mean, yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but you know, pies in the dormitory, you know, this pies tailgating, yeah. you know, pies in assisted living. So, whether you live alone or you're an empty nester or you're just trying to exercise portion control, the kids are going to go bananas over this and the grandkids <laughs> are going to go crazy because, no kidding, they're going to see this and all of a sudden you don't have to worry about, you know, a big, sometimes dangerous oven. Right. And, you know, let's be fair. 
certainly we're moving into winter where we don't think about the heat. Obviously, it's not heating up your kitchen, but there's a cost factor associated yes. with how long it takes you to, you know, preheat and then use and then bake your oven. It's going to save you so much money on top of everything else. Absolutely. And then those frozen foods are very expensive. They are. And they're always very small. And again, the ingredients are not something that you have control over. So here you absolutely do. Now imagine, so we took it from dessert, which is right. the obvious, the pies. We took it to savory. We took it to dinner. But now I want to take you to breakfast. Yeah. How many of you go through the drive through And or, again, we're back in the frozen food aisle because yeah. we like to buy those little egg sandwich things. Well, now you can use your pie maker yeah. to make a breakfast sandwich. Oh, why not? Oh, I just totally got crazy there. Okay, oh, look at cute. But we put in there, so that's egg, sausage, peppers, you name it, whatever your favorite that's things adorable. are. And again, totally full. They plump up when you cook them so beautiful. And please notice how nice and roasty toasty they yeah. are. So you can leave them in to get as little toasted or sure. more toasted, whatever you like. But again, uh, just a few minutes, you are in business. You this are. can be so valuable in the morning when you're trying to get a family Absolutely. out the door. Or just maybe you want to make one. You don't have to fill exactly. both sides. Exactly. And you know, and to Carrie's point, I mean, it's kind of, it's better than set it and forget it because you really don't set anything. Nope. <laughs> you just wait for it to be preheated and then you put whatever, you know, <laughs> filling or topping you want to put in it and then uh, it, it, it does all the work. So remember that Flex Pay is for this show or for today only. It is the grand finale of our Columbus Day holiday weekend here at HSN. What are you making here? So now I'm making new egg one. So I put sausage oh. in one and bacon in another because okay. maybe everybody likes something a little different. Sure. Now this would be a fun way. Uh, maybe if some people staying over, families coming over, everyone can make their breakfast, put yeah. out all. So we did these little ramkins here. You could put Cute. all different things inside and everyone can pick Why their not? toppings. So it becomes like, you know, we love staying at hotels and resorts sure. because they can, we can go to the bar yeah, exactly. and do that, the breakfast bar. Make your own breakfast bar at home. You so can. put in all your favorite toppings and you're just going to beat your eggs okay. and just fill it in with the eggs all around. How easy is that though? Is this not the easiest thing in the world? It, it, it is. And I, I will tell you with hundreds of you calling, we have fewer than 3,000 to go around and this is always a hit here at always. HSN. Uh, call us if you have it, by the way. We'd love to say hi. But the other thing about this is too, we hear from viewers that they have pie parties yes. at, at, where they buy more than one. Okay. And isn't it true though? Yes, I'm totally gonna. Okay, so if Crystal, if you're watching, Crystal works here at HSN oh, yeah, okay. in our salon. Yes, she does. Crystal got so excited when she saw this because maybe like you at home, you'll do this too. She started thinking about all the things she could make with this. And when she saw me do the next thing I'm, okay. I'm gonna do, she bought three of them. See, I you, told you. You don't have to buy three of them. <laughs> the reason she did is she's a very big family. Yeah. And when her family and all the kids and all the grandkids and everybody comes over to visit, yeah. she likes to pop out pies really fast. So oh, everybody sure. gets involved, they make the pies. She said it was a huge win when everybody came over. They were so excited. Oh, I bet they were. And I'm thinking this is, let me just cut into this and make sure. But yeah. this is what sold her on it. Okay. Uh, Crystal doesn't eat enough greens, she was saying. Oh. So this is a spinacopita. So it's a Greek spinacopita. Yes. And she said, oh my gosh, I am going to make those all the time. So she's been making them oh, pretty steady. Funny. She said her one machine, she goes, I think I made more pies than that machine's ever supposed to make at one time. <laughs> so this might be you. Please know these are little workhorses. They yeah. love just making it over and over. You can keep right. going. And you can keep getting creative. I mean, she, you, you know, what we were talking about is nothing goes to waste. No. Maybe you want to put mac and cheese in this. Oh, why not? Maybe you want to put, you could go seafood and right. put seafood. Buffalo in chicken. Well, oh my gosh, that's I know. so smart. Wouldn't that be good? With a blue cheese I in there. I know. Oh. Okay, look, I did little tiny pepperonis. Aren't they cute? <laughs> those are okay, adorable. So that's the other thing that we spend a lot of money on is those little pizza bite things, okay, that we go and we pay a gazillion dollars. Yeah. We don't know what kind of pepperoni is being used. We don't know what kind of sauce is being used. And generally, they only put very little. You ever yeah, bite into true. those? Yeah. And you're like, where's, where's, the, where's that meat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, what about a lady in the commercials? Okay, so here you go. So yeah. again, easy peasy. Put as much or a little. It's all to your customization and to what you like. You place the small pieces on top. You don't, I'm not doing anything fancy. No. It crimps it for you. These are non-stick makers. So what that also means is now we're going to go back and we're going to go back to the pies we started. Okay. And we're going to see okay. how many we can get through. But I want to show you that once you take these out, you saw how when I took them out, I could just put new ones right back you in. You could. You could. Easy to clean. So remember, all, the only choice you make here is do you want the red, which is proven to be the most popular. You all like my red. And Ooh. then of course the black. Oh, and but you know, Carrie, look at how beautifully brown those are They're too. beautifully brown. And here's what I want to show you. Do not be afraid. You see how this comes right off? I would wait for yeah. this to cool, by the way. I'm doing this very hard. In hot. real life.
life. In real life, <laughs> ow, you would wait for that to cool. It's very TV hot. time doesn't allow us to do that. It doesn't allow me to at all. But okay, so but what I want to show you is, do not be afraid that these went over. It still comes yeah. right out. You see how that comes right out? And this yeah. will just peel right off as soon as it cools for so a moment. Cool. But um, that is the great part about these makers. So you don't have to feel like, Oh gosh, you know, if I tried to make a pie from scratch right. on my own, look at that apple pie. I just made that Perfection. live with you Perfection. just now. I know, and so here's the thing. So you can see what Carrie has done literally in just the last couple of moments. So yeah. we've got a set of cherry one? pie, so we've got cherry pie, we've got apple pie, we've got, got peach. Oh, is that the peach? Okay, yeah. peach pie, oh my gosh. we've so got fun. chicken pot pie, we're making, we're, right now we are making beef pot pie yeah. as we speak. I'm pulling those out right Breakfast now. Breakfast sandwiches, almost like little spanakopita or, or soup, you know, Yep. Souffles or quiches in a way. You can do breakfast food. So here. breakfast, Whoops. lunch, dinner, and obviously dessert. So you can do sweet, you can do savory, and let's be fair, that price is you know, a giveaway. I mean, oh $19.95. You use it once, it's gonna pay for itself. And you're gonna you use will. it so much, that's the thing. Now look, I want you guys to come over here with me. Now, yeah. let yours cool, please, unplug it. <laughs> right, okay. again, TV time, okay, remember? Right? I have no time. I wanna show you really quick. See, please notice how when I just wipe this, even if a little bit came out, clean. I'm ready to go. Yeah. I would just keep wiping. And then it's yeah. done and it's ready to go for the next right. time around. Such a breeze. That's the kind of stuff I want to have in my kitchen. Not stuff that's super hard to do. So here, look at this. Oh, Here's that looks yummy. Oh my gosh. Doesn't so you're going to have your <gasps> high quality meats. You're going to have your high quality vegetables. You're going to know what you're putting into your You, you are. Pies. And you know what? You feel better about it. I mean, the kids are going to go bananas. The grandkids are going to go absolutely crazy. <laughs> I mean, you know, whether you're a small household, you know, senior living alone, or you just practicing portion control right. as most of us are you can really afford to have fun and yet get that homemade pie whether it's sweet whether it's savory it looks pretty it couldn't be easier because you know normally when we talk pie you know very well it's like okay well that's that's a day-long project right today right. I'm making apple pie so that's the whole day ahead of you not so anymore I would probably give this one about another minute because you can see it's almost sure. not completely finished so just to get that inside completely done but you see how I'm going really fast. Yes. So I'm just going to show you the top of this one because I'm going to tell you right now this one's not done yet. But you can see how it's almost there. That sure. top will finish browning probably yeah. about another minute or two. But how quickly did I just go through all of these and that's yeah. how quickly you can be making pies for your entire family for all your guests. It, it's true. And come on that flex pay once more. I know you, you see we're seeing that reflected graphically. That flex pay does. It's done at midnight. The grand finale of our Columbus Day weekend is done at midnight. That's why our two today specials are coming up in sellout quantities. And they're just too doggone cute for Aren't words, they adorable? Carrie. So see, this they one had are. all that little extra around it. It just came right off. So you just let it cool for a second. Adorable. It pops right off. It's a perfect pie. I want to give you one other idea as we want go into the holidays. Yeah. Leave the tops off. Oh. And you can make pumpkin pie, and you can make pecan oh, pies. Yes. Little baby pies to put <gasps> out for your Thanksgiving, oh, how for your sweet. holidays, whether it be Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever. Have a good time with us. Absolutely. Carrie, thanks for joining Thank us you. for the finale. Uh -huh. Good to see you. Uh, if you missed Wolfgang Puck over the weekend, you can still take advantage of his holiday visit because there are up to 30% off some of your select Wolfgang Puck items on hsn.com. All right, we're scooting along. Oh, and don't forget, if you do become one of our VIP shoppers tonight, you get four. $40 off that first purchase. And Daryl, I don't know if we can give a little sneak peek at the dash coming up or not, but uh, I spy out of the corner of my eye, Kelly coming up, which actually with a blender